Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a best in slot video where basically I go over and give you the best cards for each position regardless of price so you guys kind of have a idea in terms of what to go for. Um, we're at the end stage of the game, GWC is here, so I'm getting this question an awful lot because people are trying to put their end game teams together and I thought that I would, uh, I would try and help out. It's been a while, so the one thing I will say is I'm not going to include cards that you pretty much cannot get. I'm talking about the fantasy cards, um, specifically the Brady Kachuk or the Neal. These cards are just so expensive and they're so rare, it's not really worth mentioning. Uh, Hut Champs cards won't be included either. Uh, but price, other than that, completely ignored. So let's get into it and see if I can't help you guys out, make some decisions when it comes to the more expensive cards in the game. I also, real quick, guys, if you haven't subscribed to me already, but you come and watch my channel every day, please subscribe. It really helps out. Uh, you'll also get a notification when uh, whenever a new video whenever for Hockey Ultimate Team comes out. And uh, like I said, I would really appreciate it. But let's jump into the best lineup for NHL 20 currently. So we're going to start with the centerman, and we're going to start backwards. So this would be the fourth best centerman in the game based on stats, guys. And uh, I'm going to have another video coming out shortly in terms of the issues I have with it, NHL right now. I have to say that this is the best year of NHL in the last like half decade. Uh, there's just some things that I notice in terms of the meta, in terms of things that you kind of have to do if you want to play competitively, um, that I hope changes in the future, but we'll see. So we'll start first with fourth overall at center would be the winner classic Sidney Crosby. The one thing I will say about Hockey Ultimate Team, the fact that a winner classic card or something that came out in December is still one of the best cards in the game. It's just a testament to how, like, how they've done well improving uh, the content this year. So, um, yeah, stats, skating stats almost full, shot in the mid-90s, 99 face-offs. Uh, you want to see size over six foot, and that's something I'm going to get into a little bit. But, um, you know, he's just under it. And his hand stats as well at 97. This is an end game card. Fourth best center currently in the game. Following him, we've got the team of the season, Jack Eichel, the 97 overall, finally into the good size. So when I'm mentioning size, I'm going to be mentioning it a lot. Um, this year, having smaller players, just it puts you at a detriment. It does not give you an advantage in any shape or form. Um, if you have someone that's max speed, that's six foot and above, he's going to do better than someone who's smaller, and that's going to be something I'm going to talk about in my video and things I hope change in the future. But regardless for this video, this Jack Eichel is uh, borderline perfect. 6'2", so great size, 99 skating, almost 99 shooting, hand stats, almost 99. And face-offs at 94. Um, just a, a great overall card. The only thing I will mention about this is if you can't use right-handed center, he's still one of the best cards on the wing as well. Number two is the gold master icon, Matt Sundin. Six foot five, 230. The guy is huge, and that is, you know, leads me into this, is that size is the most important in this game right now, as long as he has okay speed. And at 96, that's what we list as okay at this stage of the game. Uh, almost perfect shooting. His hand stats are a mixed bag between 95 and 99, but his body checking at 94 uh, combined with puck control at 97 and balance at 97 and his size means that he will not lose the puck if you are... You know, if you hold it and protect it. He has 99 face-offs. Awarenesses are perfect. Stick checking at 99. This card is an absolute beast and the second best center in the game currently. And then number one at center is the 99 Leon Dreisaitl, 6'2", 208, same kind of size as Eichel, but this is a 99 across the board card, essentially. Uh, hands, shot, speed, you know, face-offs at 98, plus all the synergies. There's really no question here. He is currently the best center in the game, and uh, that's not going to change for a little while, I don't think. On to the right-handed player card. So this is the right-handed winger, guys, the guys that you'll put on the wing. Number four is the team of this season, David Pasternak, uh, 99 across the board in terms of speed and shot accuracy, the powers at 95, hand stats at 99, he just flies down the wing, he's got great synergies, this is just a, really just a no-brainer, he is currently the fourth best, and I'm going to explain why in just a second. After incoming at number three is the 99 Nathan McKinnon. Now, I'm going to get a lot of questions in regard to the McKinnon card. I don't know what it is about Nathan McKinnon. I don't know if it's his weight and height combo. Regardless, every single season, Nathan McKinnon cards that are 99 or even the high ones just play weird. Like, they don't feel as fast as they should be. Uh, I can never get them going, and it's not just myself. Uh, top players like Gren and John Wayne, all of those guys say the same thing about Nathan McKinnon. There's just something weird about it. Um, I think that some players will really excel with them, some won't. I don't know what it is. 
but for whatever reason, is in terms of stats, he's literally perfect. Maybe an inch or two taller, but the, there's there's really no reason why he isn't number one, other than the fact that for whatever reason, Nathan McKinnon cards just play like um, they don't play like their stats. Coming in at number two is the master icon Brendan Shanahan, and again, this is going to be based on size six three two twenty. Um, the reason being, again, is you can just hold on to the puck for forever with someone with this size and has 97 balance and 99 puck control. Guys, it's super important in this game. The meta in this game is no longer just short side wristers. It's one-timers, and the best way to set them up is to cycle around in the corners. And, uh, again, uh, cards like that with this build type are the way to do it. So uh, his speed is a little rough, around 96 and 97, but his shot is damn near perfect, so are his hands. Um, this is, again, a combo of size, speed, and shot, and hands. Uh, again, you, there's a big difference when you play with him just based on size alone. And then number one, it doesn't really matter which one, but the 98 overall Alex Ovechkin. 99 across the board in terms of speed and shot. Six foot three, 235, has 99 puck control, 96 body checking. Uh, you know, it's just his card is always one of the best. He's a missile with his shot. I have the team of the season, team of the year one, and uh, it's my best card on terms in terms of right wingers. And uh, yeah, there's really uh, really nothing much else to say. He's going to be one of the best. You don't have to wait for a 99 version. This is just fine. So find one that's within your price range and then pull the trigger. On to left-handed winger cards. At number four is Marion Hosa, 6'1", 207, 99 skating and 99 shot power. Uh, his hand stats in the mid-90s, body checking 97, and stick checking 99. Um, just an end game card, not much else to say here. He's, again, when you, you're looking at size, speed, and shots, so um, Marion Hosa fits the bill, coming in at number four. After him, we've got the 99 Nikita Kucherov. This is one that you notice in terms of uh, high-end 99 overall cards or the high-end 90 cards that just get bodied in this meta. So I have the team of this team of the year, Nikita Kucherov, and he's on my third line for a reason. Um, he just he's smaller, and you notice it um, now. If you are someone who straight lines in, he's one of the best winger cards, just based on speed and shot uh, and hands. Like the, his all of the important stats are in the 99s. It's just size alone. He's 178, so he gets bumped even easier. It's, he has a hard time holding off the puck, but if you get him in some space and you just straight line, he's one of the best in the game. Number two is the 97 Yaromir Yager, 99 skating, 99 shot power, and then he has six foot three, 230. So the exact opposite with Kucherov, he just holds onto the puck so easily, and then that deadly wrist shot of his just picks the corners. Um, one of my favorite cards to use so far this year, and uh, one of the best in the game. And then lastly, no surprise here, it's the 99 Connor McDavid. This card just flies down the wings. He, I, I know his, his stats say 99, but I swear to God, he is. it always feels like he's so much faster. Um, everything is 99, essentially, that's important. You can put him at center as well with 93 faceoff, but I prefer him on the wing just because of how fast he plays. Um, yeah, he is, he is one of the best. So number one left-handed winger in the game. On to defensemen, the left-handed ones. So we'll start with number three, and that's the 97 Paul Coffey. I get a lot of questions about this because size on defense matters 10 times more than on offense just because of zone denial and whatnot. And at only six foot, he's obviously not the biggest, but his shot is perfect. Literally 99s across the board. He's fast enough to make up for it. Uh, his hand stats are in the 99s. It's just a great card regardless of size for this one. And I think that when it comes to the meta at the end game, D to D one-timers are so potent. If you have someone who has 99s um, uh, for slap shot, it's just, it makes it that much better. So number three is the Paul Coffey. After that, we've got the team of the season, the 97 overall, Victor Hedman, 6'6", 223. So this is what I was talking about, like, in terms of size. Like, he is legit perfect. Size, speed, his shots at over 90. Um, passing's 97, his, you know, his offense, defensive awareness is 99. The Victor Hedman card is fantastic and would be number one if it weren't for, you know, one of the most ridiculous cards in all of NHL 20. And at number one is the 93 overall Zdeno Char, and the reason for it is simply there is no card in this game, and I don't think they will release one, that feels like this card. You know when you're playing against it, and without seeing the name, you can just tell. It's so hard to get around him when you're entering the zone. It's so hard to cycle with him because he can just flick up and bump you. Uh, and his shot power is in the 90s, you know, like the high 90s. 
95 speed, the balance at 99, like, it's just a mess. Stat-wise, he's not nearly as good as Hedman, but that size alone just makes him the best card in this game, in my opinion. Uh, it's just a must-have if you want to play super competitively, and the price tag, there's a reason why this came out in December, early December, and he's still costing six, 700,000 coins. Guys, this is a nuts card, and I hope that we're done with Zidane Ochara cards in NHL 21. And on to the right side for defensemen. Now, I've said this for the entire season, that right defenseman, there just isn't as many, and there's not as many good ones, and that still kind of reigns true, but third overall would be the 95 Brent Burns, and this is based on size, because he does play a little slow, um, even though he has 95 speed, acceleration, agility, he just feels slow, and I think it might be because of his weight. Um, 6'5", 230, he's a big boy, his synergies are amazing, though, and then that wrist shot, um, there's a way to use behind the net that really accentuates bringing the defenseman in from the point into the slot, and Brent Burns is a fantastic card to do it with because his wrist shot is so good. Um, he can crush guys along the boards with his size. Just one of the better cards uh, on right defense. Number three. After him, this one is subject to change, but until we get the season back on, the 97 David Savard uh, is almost perfect. Six foot two, 227, 99 skating with the 97 shot power and 85 ex er, accuracy. Just a really fun card to use. I've used him for a little while. And again, size, speed, and shot, guys. That's uh, That's the name of the game. And then number one, any of the 95, John Carlson. Six foot three, 218 with 99 skating, 96 shot power and accuracy. Again, he's just bigger than Savard, and Savard will go down, so there's risk in that if they don't make the playoffs or if they make the division. Uh, two to X, two to WC. Just a, well, this is for the flashback card. If you have the team of the season, one even better. Team of the year, one even better. But no, it's just, si again, size, speed, and shot makes this John Carlson the best right-handed defenseman currently in the game. Now, again, we're on to goaltenders now, and uh, we'll give you the second best goaltender, in my opinion. This is all based on the stat builds and whatnot. So number two is going to be the team of the year, Tobias Steffen. Six foot four, 194, with 90 glove high, 95 positioning, and 76 balance, or sorry, uh, aggression. The glove high positioning and aggression are the most important stats, in my opinion. You want low aggression under 80, and then the glove high positioning above 90 with good size at six foot four makes him one of the better goaltenders in the game. I have not used him personally. I've heard that he's a very good card, but he checks in at number two. There's honestly so many options, but just based on stats, that's one I like the most. And then number one, no surprise here, this is an end game card. Uh, 94 Jacob Markstrom. I've used the Winter National one. I've used the All Star one. He's amazing. Six foot six, what 91 glove high. 96 positioning with 78 aggression and then all the other stats are obviously high as he's a 94 overall a lot of good synergies in my opinion makes him the best goaltender in NHL 20 currently and because he's team of the season if he increases anymore it's just going to get that much better so guys that is going to do it again um you know there's personal preferences and whatnot so don't take what I say is gospel I'm just doing it based on stats and whatnot so those are the cards in my opinion that are the best there are obviously some room for Yar or for Mario Lemieux. I just don't like his endurance because he doesn't have 99 skating and his endurance is only 86. That's why I left him off. My favorite card in this game this entire year has been the Brady Kachuk. I love this card. It is so much fun to use, and you really notice it now that he is a 99. So, guys, let me know what you think in the comments section down below. Please give the video a like and subscribe. I would really appreciate it, and I'll see you guys next time.